here. Okay, I am. Um, let me see here. I'm just gonna expand this one. So I'm in my curl draw already. And now I'm ready to open the file. So I click on open. So I'm gonna click on open my drawings. And it's this one here. Perfect. Look at that. Just gonna zoom in here. Look at this. Just gonna close this. This is my drawing in CorelCAD. It retained everything. Very nice. Very, very nice. No conversion problems. Okay. So now I'm in CorelDraw already. So what I'll do, I'm going to to render it and not render it. I'm going to 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 make it an illustration. Okay. Now what I notice in see if you click on this one, it's all um, it's all grouped together, so you can just ungroup it. I'm just gonna ungroup it, and then it's 51 objects. If you look at it here. There's lots of objects. Okay, so everything's ungrouped now. So if I move that, perfect. Now the only thing here is that, like this one here, uh, since it's not a polyline, so it's not really grouped together. I mean, it's not combined uh, segment, right? But because of the power of the Smart Fill tool, that won't be a problem. The circles is not a problem because like for example here I'm going to color this circle here. Just put random tape. It's not a problem, right? The problem is the segments that's cut. Uh, maybe there's a way, but since I'm very new in CorelCAD, I don't know how to do it yet. Um, it's also a good idea that you make the CorelCAD object, okay? In a different layer so if I click on object manager actually it did made us made a separate layer so I think it's this one here it's zero okay so I'm going to rename this I'm going to rename that as my Corel CAD object okay. and then my layer one would be my drawing so I'm going to bring it up so that the Corel CAD would be down Okay. And what I'll do here, I'm going to lock it. Okay, I'm going to lock it so I won't accidentally move it. Okay. Actually, I won't lock it yet. I'm going to lock it after and make it invisible. So here, for the circles, like I said, there's no problem. So I can color that. Right. So I'll color it. Okay. I'll just color it light gray first for now. And then later on, I'm going to to make it a different color. So there, I got there. Well, maybe I'll go with shift, 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 and then I click there. Okay. Now this is the problem, right? But for the smart fill, for the smart fill, um, yeah, for the smart fill, it's best to. I'm going to go to my layer one, okay, and then I'm going to click on my smart fill. I'll just make that uh, no outline, specify color. I'll just make it gray for now, and click there. Right. Okay, so that's my. But now the problem is it didn't. I'm not sure why. Oh yeah, it is because it's not touching right so but there's also always a way how to fix it so I go here so I'm going to click on this one and make it a little bit smaller so that it will be touching the, the line there it's pretty good now I'll go to my smart fill and click on this and there you go Okay, now with this one here, I'm going to make a different color too, just to uh, differentiate to that one, this, 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 
and then this one here this and this okay notice I'm doing it in layer one okay. Okay. I'm going to to do this one too in a different color okay so I'm gonna stop now and then I'm what I'm going to I'm going to put some effects on the so I want to make it like a alloy wheels right so so I'll do I'll make this a gradient fill uh, maybe a fountain fill yeah fountain fill will be good a simple maybe I can find a preset here um, let me see conical black I'll try this one it's not really that good so I'm going to change it the fountain fill I make it radial We'll see if radial works. Mm, radials, that's okay. And I'm going to click on my interactive fill tool. I'm just going to adjust it a little bit. Yeah, this color is too strong, the black. So maybe I'll just drag a light gray in here and uh, lighter. Yeah. That's perfect. I like that one. Okay, so I've got that. And this one here, uh, what I'll do, I'm going to group all of this together. This together here, 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 and this one. And I'm going to group that. Actually, I'm going to combine it. Combining is better. Now I can also go to my font and fill and I'm going to go to radial I'm going to make it darker Click OK maybe more uh, midpoint there that looks okay now for this one here I can make it darker so I'll click on my smart fill tool I'll make it a darker gray. This one here. There. So now that's standing. Out. It's looking good now. There, there. And then for this one here, I can make it light gray. And for this one here, I can make it black. I'll just make it black. Because my main objective really here is to show you uh, how to use Corel CAD in your illustration. So, okay, now I'm gonna make a, another circle, maybe uh, hold on control and then bring this to the center here. And then maybe one more circle. I'll just duplicate it, so plus sign and shift this way and I'm going to combine these two and I'm going to make it black maybe and then arrange order to back of page okay there it's looking good and I'm going to go to my Okay, I don't know what this is. Yeah, okay. So now it's 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 looking good. And I mean if you want to want to make it more realistic, maybe we can put some drop shadow here. It's gonna make a drop shadow here. Uh, okay, so I'll make a drop shadow. Let's make a drop shadow like that. Maybe I'll change the feathering inside. Okay, I think that's good. And then what I'll do, I'll separate the shadows, break shadow apart. Yeah, control, pitch down. And I can just, uh, you know, change the shadow position. I mean, you can make this really, really realistic, 
But my, like I said, my objective here is how would you use or or how would Corel CAD help you in in drawing as a designer? Okay, you can make this uh, dark. No, I think it's better to use the smart fill. That. Or can make this um, or you know what you can you can always make a interactive feel I make that radial yeah there you go That's it. Very nice experience.